What's up everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Sanchez here. Just going to uh, talk about something real quick. Uh, it's about, I want to make a video about how I lost about 70 pounds in about six months. Uh, it's not the first time I lose a drastic amount of weight. You know, I've lost weight before. Um, last time I was kind of working out like an animal and um, you know counting my calories and stuff like that and I was able to drop 80 pounds so um, this year you know my best friend he uh, he he uh, he had a surgery to lose weight because he was getting he was getting big you know as you get older that could have a dramatic effect on your um, on your health so he he had a surgery and um, you know to lose weight so I was about 300 pounds and I just I was like, dude, I want to lose weight again too. So, you know, he kind of motivated me to to do it. But I didn't want to do no surgery, you know what I mean? So I was just like, you know, I've done it before and I'll do it again. So, um, you know, I listened to the Joe Rogan podcast, the F Fighter and the Kid podcast. And bro, that, there's an infinite amount of knowledge in those podcasts. You know, if, um, if you guys don't listen to them, if you're into sports, if you're into comedy... If, I'm basically MMA sports and comedy current events those guys are awesome so basically they had like a nutritionist and they had um, you know a guest that he was there basically talking about uh, a ketogenic diet and um, you know it was a three hour a three hour podcast so I paid attention and um, I said dude I could do that you know what I'm saying just basically cut your carbs to like basically no carbs and eat a lot of protein fat and veggies and um, I, you know, I, I said, dude, I'm gonna try it. So, you know, May, May this year, I started doing that. You know, and I would say like every day that, you know, I was on the diet, and I'm still on the diet. I would weigh myself, and I'd be lighter. You know, I wouldn't be like super amount of pounds, but if I weighed 294.5 pounds on Monday. On Tuesday morning, I'll weigh 294.1 pounds. And then the next day, I'll weigh 294.0 pounds. And then the next way, I'll be 293. And within a six-month span, but I was just two, three pounds, four pounds every week without being hungry. You know? So, yeah, I mean, it's not for everybody. It takes discipline. If you don't have it in your mind that you want to do it, you're not going to do it. You know? Don't get me wrong. You can, you can, you can't really have a cheat day because a cheat day would just, it could, it could be like a, you know, it could be just a downward spiral into, you know, going back and eating pizzas and Burger Kings and stuff like that. But you know, if you mess up, you fall off the horse, you get back on the horse the next day. You know, um, if you know you're going to, if you know it's a special time or something like that, you're gonna eat pizza that day because you're gonna. You know, you haven't ate pizza in a month and probably you really want a pizza. You don't eat a whole pizza. Eat one slice of pizza and then get back on, on the thing tomorrow. So for me, it's a great diet because uh, because you're not hungry. You know what I'm saying? That's the hardest part about dieting for me is being hungry. You know, um, if I'm hungry, I'm pissed. If I'm hungry, I don't care about a diet. I don't care about nothing. I'm hungry. Let's eat. So with this diet, you know, I eat. I'll wake up in the morning, I'll, I'll make an omelet um, with coffee, you know, coffee, you can still have coffee, you love coffee, I love coffee, you know, let's work as hard as we do, we need coffee. So instead of putting milk in your coffee, which is packed with carbs and sugar, you would get the powdered creamer and put, you know, and put, um, put it in there, use the stevia, Splenda as your, as your sweetener, and, um, yeah, you know, you have eggs with ham, cheese. Cheese is good. I eat cheese like a freaking mouse. You can eat cheese. Cheese has no carbs, you know. So you have an egg and cheese omelet in the morning. For lunch, you have a, a big steak. If you like beef, you get a big steak with vegetables, avocados, um, you know, stuff like that. And just meat and big portions of salad and vegetables, you know. Breakfast, eggs, ham, cheese, coffee. Dinner, you're going out with your friends, order a freaking big ass order of chicken wings. Of course, not not barbecue chicken wings or nothing like that, but you know, just buffalo chicken wings. You know, it doesn't have any carbs, diet sodas, 
stuff like that. And if you stick to that and you eat to live, not live to eat, you know what I mean? Dude, you will be successful doing this diet. And uh, I'm a living testament to that, you know what I mean? So, yeah, man. So I'm just going to give you guys a quick example of uh, my lunch today. It's nothing, it's nothing extravagant. It's nothing crazy. But, you know, just let you know. Let you know what, what keto food looks like. So let's get into that. All right, so here we go. Uh, stir fries always work real good for me. Um, you know, we just saute some veggies, open up a, a package of pre-cooked shrimp, and get to cooking, man. As far as uh, as far as oils go, I like to mess with this uh, coconut oil. Just put a little bit on the pan, and um, you know. This stuff is like it's miracles. This, this is made from unicorns, man. You could put this in your hair. You could put it on your skin. You could put it in your food. You know, you got rashes on. You could put that on. And um, yeah, man. Shameless plug here. Also for like salt. For salt, I'll uh, hit it with some of this. And a little sprinkle of salt. Yeah, usually I use Himalayan pink salt, but when I moved, I left it at my last spot. So the Himalayan pink salt is back there. So I'm just gonna use regular salt and a splash of this uh, light low sodium uh, low sodium soy sauce here. It's a little splash right there. Bam. And then for drink, have a Coke Zero, man. I love it. Yeah, this is, to me, this is like, I drink a lot of water, but this stuff helps keep me sane. You know, people are like, oh, it's not good for you, Chris. You know, you'll, uh, you'll get kidney stones if you drink too much of that. Hey, oh, it, ha it has a spark of me. Hey, yeah, not everything, you gotta pick your poison in life. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah, I know freaking uh, artificial sweeteners, <laughs> are not the, the best for you, but dude, neither is diabetes. You know what I'm saying? Neither, neither is high blood pressure. Neither is being morbidly obese. So beat it, nerd. I drink Coke Zero. You don't like it? Drink whatever you fucking want to drink. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. So we're just going to saute this up. To make a delicious keto meal. All right. All right, man. And here we got it. We got some stir fry shrimp with some avocado. Now, just to top it off, what I'm gonna do? You know, you don't have to do this. I like this, but just squeeze some uh, fresh lime in the avocado. Here we go. And a uh, little splash of olive oil in there. That's it. And now you have a, uh, a delicious ketogenic meal. So just a quick breakdown uh, on, on what is keto and how it works. Basically, your body uses carbohydrates to, to work, to move, to build energy, to burn energy, right? So... Um, whatever it doesn't use, because we tend to overeat, it stores it as, as stores it as fat. So if you cut out the carbohydrates from your diet, what you're forcing your body to do is to turn over from burning carbohydrates into burning the next best source, which is fat. Right. So your body starts using the your, the fat first, the fat that you eat, and of course the fat on your body for energy. And um, it'll actually put you into a ketosis, which will burn your body fat for energy. And, um, you know, that's how it works. And, you know, there's a lot of different forms of this diet. You have Atkins, you have a gluten-free, you know, it's kind of all the same concept, you know. But, um, you know, it works for me. I'm never hungry. I'm losing weight all the time. And uh, I feel great. So that's it. I'm going to enjoy, I'm going to enjoy my meal. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you enjoy the video, subscribe. That's it, man. You guys have a uh, happy holidays. God bless.